That's better. Now I can talk to you guys. <laughs> I have my dinner already set in the crock pot, so I thought this afternoon was a prime time to finish, well, as much as I can finish today, my reupholstery. I am left with the welting all around the edge. I'm really trying to play with that. Well, it's okay, take two. <laughs> this had a leak. That's why I was hissing. Ears are off. It's probably going to come on in a minute again. I'll probably get it interrupted. But I've got the chair all set here. I have to put the welting all around the bottom and then do a little bit of hand sewing there. I had the second, third installment video all completed for the chair and my hard drive broke and I lost all the footage. So I'm sorry for those of you who are looking for the middle part of me doing this chair. Yeah, that footage is not recoverable. Hmm. I just pick up where we are. I'm going to show you guys. Well, hopefully this is the end of fixing the chair part and then I'll move on to the cushion. So this was the original edge that I did when I first started. And if you remember right, I didn't have my staple gun. So I used tacks. Well, I went ahead and pulled these out because this wasn't quite tight enough. And I am going to just go ahead and re-tack this and re-staple it. I went ahead and tacked all of this down. So this is all stapled closed now. Looks nice and um, clean there and ready for the welting. I just need to um, go over this one more time to make sure it's all set. And so for this last part, I'm taking the welting that I made. I'm going to pin that up. I'm not pin it. I'm going to staple it up like that. But then I'm going to take this, and according to the upholstery books I've read, you take this paper and it gives it just a little bit more to tack into. It is all done. I just need to put the dust cover on the base here. And I hope I did it right. I think I did it right. I followed the instructions. I put the paper down, put the welting all the way around, pulled it tight around the corners. Again, this is not perfect. <laughs> I just got the dust cover for the bottom. So I'm going to cut this, staple it in, and then the chair itself is done. Then it'll be just time to uh, finish the cushion. And like that, it is done. Okay, next step is figuring out how they made this cushion. <laughs> I'm not sure. It looks like they actually, this is such a well done chair. Look at this. The cushion was wrapped in another, another, another fabric. I'm back at the chair once again. We're down to the final cushion here, and oh, bad lighting! Over here, you can see they actually stitched the whole thing closed. So I'm gonna pull this out. The fabric here is in really good shape, so I'm just going to pull it out, remove the foam, put in new foam, and then um, sew it back up. So you can see how worn this edge is. This is where it was sat on the most. You can actually feel it's just very flat and ick. So we got this out. I'm going to trace this onto my new foam and somehow I'm going to figure out how to cut this. Although I'm not sure if I should just use a razor blade. I'm not sure. It doesn't, I can't tell how they cut it. So making sure that I can fit both pieces out of this one piece of foam. If you guys haven't heard, this was actually an old crib mattress that was the whole outside vinyl was cracked and not doing well. So we actually were gonna throw this out and then when Art went to um, pull it apart, he found this gorgeous piece of foam. The foam is in great shape. So this is what I'm repurposing. Um, this is like a $60 piece of foam if you were to go buy this at Joann's. So I wanted to make sure I have both pieces to be able to fit. That's why I'm tracing my lines here. I just need to figure out how to cut this now. Who knew that going back to preschool, Lydia? I'm like tracing your kids' hands. This is coming in handy. That's our new cushion. What do you think? The old power of YouTube says that you can cut this foam with a bread knife. I'm going to try it. <laughs> I don't know if it'll work. I'm going to try it. We'll just do what he...
Turn this this way. See if I can drop the camera. Yeah. Here. Well be covered up. Yes, I'm glad it's covered up. Here it is. Uh, it's bumpy. Okay. But, okay, so far so good. It did cut through. So, I can probably smooth this Look out afterwards. Look how thick it is. Now the moment of truth. Okay, it's out. What are you gonna do with the extra foam? Well, I gotta this, make another cushion. You have to make a cushion. Gotta make a second cushion out of it. The other two. Oh, well, leave it to me. Nothing broke. <laughs> that was close. First try, yeah. Um, I think you need to cut it? it a little. little. It's bad. Oh, no. It's really, really bad. Oh, no. The pillow was smiling at me. It should not be smiling at <laughs> me. No, it's me. frowning. Well, it depends on. Turn it this way. There we go. Now he's smiling at it's me. Smart. Okay, I think we've got to trim this down. I don't know what else to do with it. I think it's just a little too wide. Just too, too wide. Okay, despite my best attempts of getting that cushions. It doesn't fit. Yeah, it doesn't fit. <laughs> so I took the cushion over to the chair to see if I just cut the cushion wrong, which always is a possibility. I'm a trainee here, never done this before. It fits in here beautifully. I love how it fits, nice and snug. Um, I think it's just, this foam must be just ever a little bit thicker. So I'm thinking I'm gonna have to cut the pouch and make or make a new pouch for it. That's. I mean, how hard can it be? Um, I do need to trim, like this one is in a little bit. I, I've got to trim this because this overhangs a little bit. I'm going to leave that one and then uh, cut it. And I guess I'm going to have to make a new pouch. I don't know what else to do. And that's just, that's how life goes. So I ended up deciding to just make a new cover for this instead of using the old one. I think it was just taking so much time to try to cut this. This fits nicely in the chair. So I'm gonna leave it. I'm just gonna make a cover and I'm just using my my past sewing knowledge. I'm not pulling that apart because obviously it's a different size. But I had some old king size pillowcases that someone had given me. We don't have king size pillows and this was like the perfect task for them. So you guys are probably cringing saying, why did you cut that pillowcase? But I did. I cut the pillowcase. So now I have one long piece of fabric here. And it's just the right width for this, which is great. So I'm going to take the other pillowcase and make the strips here to fit on this. So that will be a no cost fix to my dilemma it's going to take a little bit more time and i have seriously made a mess all over the carpet and all over me i am covered in all this foamy goo and i just washed the sweater but the things you learn when you're reupholstering a chair so i cut the one pillowcase down both side seams and then at the end so it made two pieces of fabric the bottom and the top then the second pillowcase I cut in one long strip. So now I have to um, sew it together. I went ahead and again, I'm not, I don't have a pattern. I'm just using the foam for this. So I just pinned that all the way around the edges. I'm gonna still put the up Dacron underneath this over the foam like this one had here. So I'm trying to leave enough room for that. Fitting this is going to be, because obviously it's cut a little bit differently. So the upholstery, I can't use the other one that I had as a template because it's different sizes and that's okay. I cover one is made. We just need to attach the bottom, but not bad. It actually fits pretty good considering I didn't have a pattern. <laughs> I'll take it. So Mommy. I'm gonna take a break now. It's time for dinner, and I don't know if I'm going to get back to it today. I'll be back at some point. I'll continue working on this. It's the next day. I ran into a snag yesterday, so I ended up having to put it away. But I'm back at it today. This is what I did so far. I finished making the slip cover. So the new foam has its new slip cover. The pillow sheets worked perfect. So there that is. What I'm going to do with Dacron, since they actually sewed it right 
into the piece. I don't know if you guys can see that, but they actually sewed that right in. I'm going to use scissors. I'm going to cut it out and then lay it on top of this. But this piece is in great shape, so I don't see why not to reuse it. I'll just use some creative cutting. another day and I am back at the cushion. I had to make a whole bunch more welting so I have a whole pile of welting here that I made and then this is the cushion that we, we took that cover off and I was gonna take it all apart but because when I cut the foam my foam is thicker this wouldn't fit so there was really no point in taking it all apart I did rip the zipper out here and that's what I'm trying to figure out how to put back in so it appears that they did one piece for the width here and that went all the way around until the back of the chair and that's where the zipper went in and from the best I can tell they took two separate pieces of fabric you see that and then they did the zipper and then they finished by sewing it all together. This portion has certainly stumped me in trying to get this done. I am tackling it today. I did actually cut fabric, which I was excited about. I don't know if you can see it, but I cut two, the top and the bottom, and these stripes had to line up with the back of the chair. So as far as I can tell, it's gonna be close. It may not be perfect, but it's gonna be close. Piece of foam here is finished being covered. I finished hand sewing that seam here. I tried to do that with a machine, but they were just, I cut that too close on the, on the pillowcases. So I had to hand sew that this afternoon. And then I just took this and actually laid it up on the fabric how I wanted it. And then I just gave myself about an inch and a half all the way around, traced it out and cut it. That's it. Some of you guys who may have a lot more familiarity with this may be going, no, I can't believe you just did that. That's not the right way. I don't know. I'm <laughs> using a lot of, I hate to say it, but my gut sense on how to do this. And there may be lessons that I will learn afterwards on you know how long this holds up and such that I'd be like I should have done that differently but I'm a trainee here I have no idea what I'm doing I'm just doing baby steps and today was the day to tackle this I am trying to finish this before the weekend and I'm trying to get this done before the weekend so I can start working on finishing the kitchen cabinets Hi. hey Gracie are you helping me uh, yeah. Sort of. Sort of. You're helping by being good, right? <laughs> so for the width of this, since this cushion's different than what I have, I'm going to just go ahead and measure how deep this is. Let's see. It looks like it's about six inches. That would be my guess. So I'm going to cut out eight to give me enough wiggle room. I want to make sure I have enough um, fabric to play around with. So I've got to make sure that the stripes line up with, so see that this is going to be my strip here. I'll take, let's see, eight inches, go from here. So I'm going to have to move that up a little bit more and then we'll just go ahead and cut that. I'll probably end up having to do I don't know, probably three strips and then I'll sew them together, making sure that this one stays in the center. I think that makes the most sense. I checked the fabric that is going to be the back for the zipper. I folded this down. I'm going to stitch this and then here's my zipper here. I will put this over. He'll actually, we'll try to make sure this comes together. So this will do half the teeth and then the other side will be half the teeth and it'll be 
like that. It'll look better when I've sewn it. I got the first side of the zipper sewn in, but then I didn't like how this came out. Now I'm not gonna undo this, I mean, the reality is most people are not gonna see this. This is the back of the cushion, but I pinned the second piece. I folded it over first. Okay, that folded over and then I didn't stitch it like I did the other one. So that will leave only one clean seam instead of two. Again, it's a little thing, but you know, this is my first time doing this. So. And there it is, it works. I already pulled the zipper off once because they don't have guards. This was a cut to size zipper, but it's okay. I, I got it back on and phew, I think it looks, it's good enough. I pinned the top to the side piece Happy with that, decided I would check it out on the cushion before I sewed it, and yeah, I cut it too big. So this is the edge here of the chair, and it goes all the way around like this. You can see this is where I would have sewn it. So it's almost two inches too big on both sides. Can you guys see that? So I'm thinking that I'm gonna flip this over and mark it on the underside and then just pin it to where where it should be and we'll try that maybe i didn't need to cut it as big as i did i'm not sure but my main thing is making sure stripes or lines line up front and back and side and this i checked it in the chair and it does line up the back of the chair so it looks just like one continuous pattern i got some white chalk i'm gonna mark the lines and then repin it and try it again after an hour of pinning this is all pinned together. The back side has the zipper right here, and this had to get folded so it has a neat edge. It didn't, we didn't want a raw edge there. And I am going to attempt one try to sew this around, and then this side will be done, and then we just have to do the same thing on the second side, and the cover will be done. What do you want to say about what happened afterwards? Moment of truth. We'll see if this. We'll see if this worked. Uh, we're talking a lot yes. of bringing power. This yes. has been harder than repulsing the entire chair. <laughs> Who would have thought? I'm gonna try it on. We'll see what it works. Tiny fish. All right, not perfect, but I think it's good enough. I think it's gonna work. Yes. So now I've gotta get the bottom part on. Okay, so after all of this, I am on the home stretch of sewing it. I have maybe a foot and a half left to sew. The zipper foot, the zipper pull is off and I can't find it. I don't know where it, it, it was on when I started sewing and the kids helped me look. I've looked inside. What happened? The zipper pull is missing. You know, Whoa, the, what? that's what I'm looking for. The zipper thing, like on your jacket, the pull. I can't find uh -oh. it. Uh-oh. Yeah, it's awful. All right, this project may not be done tonight. All out search has begun to look for the zipper attachment piece. Uh, we honestly don't know where it is. We're just digging everything. We think it might have just bounced and flown somewhere, but we don't know. That cushion was inside this, and I had pinned it, and I broke the one, well, I bent the one pin. This is the pin that I bent. We found. Where was it, you say? Underneath it, some laundry. So it had on landed a chair. on the chair, and this laundry was in the chair that I had to sit in, and I had to move the laundry on top of there, and thus... I covered up the zipper. But it is found. Ah. I can go back and do what I need to do, can and we, you can do what you need to maybe do. Maybe I can actually finish this once and for all and say, be done with you, chair number one. Then we have chair number two to do. Should be easier, right? You should be, yes, because you're an expert now. Right. Well, there it is. It is on, and I think it's going to be, as I got to trim that string, it's going to be done as good as it's going to get. Don't expect perfection, but hey, it's covered. So there you have it. 
the chair is finally finished, reupholstered, DIYing it the first time. I'm going to do a whole video, a Q&A video. If you guys have questions about my experience, I'm going to uh, do some of the lessons that I learned by doing this because I learned a ton <laughs> doing this. And like I told Art, my kids will never put their feet on the furniture. They're never going to eat on the furniture. They're never going to jump on the furniture. Knowing what I know, how much hard work it is to do this, we're going to respect our furniture. So with that, thank you so much for coming along in this journey. If you are just jumping in on this last video, make sure you check out video one and two. Number three, the footage was lost on a damaged hard drive. So there might be a little gap there, but I think you guys can we'll be able to piece it all together. As always, thank you so much for being some of my biggest cheerleaders and supporters in this project. I couldn't have done it without all of your help and support. I look forward to my next DIY project. Tell me what you're working on over on the community page and we'll see you for our next video. Good night.